welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm tata j and thank you so much for clicking on today's video so as you guys can see by the title i'll be showing you guys how i achieved this twist outlook and as you guys know i don't really like doing twists i saw this technique on um i think it's bush baby amy um i will link it up on here so you guys can um see her instagram so i saw this video on her instagram where she does this twist and wrap um, technique for a twist and I was like I definitely gotta try this out because my twist out game is weak like weak <laughs> and you guys know by now that I like doing braids um, but I really wanted to try this technique out and I'm super surprised of what it turned out to be. So if you follow me on my Instagram, then you know I posted an Instagram reel where I showed you guys how I do a braid tutorial using the Naturally Africa hair care line. And I will show you guys quickly um, how I do that. So just watch that clip. why not use that products for my twist outs because i've been using it for my braid out and it's been working very very well for my hair so that is why i decided to use that products in today's video so yeah um i'll be showing you guys now how i did this twist out so if you are interested then definitely keep on watching and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah without any further ado let's get started Okay guys, so I've already sectioned my hair up, um, I sectioned it into four and then I took a piece from here um, so that I can just start in small sections. So I already took, um, sectioned this piece out and then sectioned it into two again. So now I'm currently busy with this and the other one is just wrapped around that one. The first thing I'm going to use is this um, hair food and scalp therapy. Anyway, so um, this is the first thing I'm going to use. This is the consistency of it. See, it has this nice consistency. So I'm just going to add it on to my scalp like that and just massage it in. Then take some water and just spritz it on this one section. I'm not taking a lot because I don't want my hair to be like soaking wet. And now I'm going to move on to this leave-in conditioner. Add a tiny bit. Here you go. Okay. So now that I've added the leave-in conditioner, I'm just gonna move on to this curl defining lotion. And I'm not gonna use a lot, I'm just gonna use goodness. This thing is new. I'm just gonna pump like a little bit on my hand. So that is enough. Okay. So now I'm going to use this um, blocking gel wax. This consistency is so nice and gooey. So yeah, I'm going to use about that amount. And I'm just going to warm it up in my hand. Just add it to the section. So now I'm going to finally try this um, twist style out. Just take two sections. Okay, so I've like evenly distributed the two sections. So um, I saw on the video that you need to like twist, like lock and twist, lock and twist like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna lock that in. Then twist, lock and twist. So I'm not too sure if this, gonna, this is gonna work on my hair because I have like very soft type hair. 
my hair's not really bouncy, so yeah. And this brush of mine and just brush it. There you go. So this is what the one section looks like. My hair is like super long, <laughs> as you guys can see. So, okay, I'm just gonna try it on the other section. Okay, so my first two sections are done and you know, doesn't look too bad, eh? Okay, so I've done like a few of the sections. Um, I'm kind of loving it. So I'm gonna do the section of camera and then I'm gonna move on to this one. So let's do a quick transition. So I'm sectioning my hair with this um, wire tooth comb because it's much easier. I have um, this um, red tail comb but um, I don't know how to use it. And also I don't really care what my sections look like. I'm at home, it's not like I'm actually going out with this hairstyle and my backside of my hair is always covered you know so yeah who cares. I didn't know how to do it on my right hand side guys okay i think i figured it out so um, i need to do this and then so i don't know but this is definitely harder on the right hand side Okay, so the right hand side is definitely much more harder than I thought it would be. So um, I'm gonna do this whole back section um, off camera. Well, actually the whole right section off camera and then I'll be back. So see you guys in about probably like a half an hour. Okay guys, so um, I've done my hair so far like that. And then also here, um, I just need to do this three sections. So I didn't do this one because um, I need to still fix my middle part. So therefore, um, I start to do, uh, do my hair on the side. So yeah, let's finish my hair off because um, I don't want it to get dark and I'm still busy. So yeah. Oh yeah, so um, before we continue, I just wanted to apologize guys. I have been absent for a while and um, I started a new job as well as um, trying to jog my Instagram and my YouTube and all of that so I really do apologize for being absent but um, I'm trying I'm still trying to figure out how um, I'm going to record and also edit and all of that because I do record off of my phone so it's definitely um, hard especially with spacing all of that so um, yeah um, I just I'm trying to figure out like on which days I'm gonna record and edit and all of that. So yeah, um, it's definitely been a roller coaster, but yeah, I'm figuring it out for you guys. So yeah, do know that I am trying and I'm trying to record the videos um, because I really do want to. So that is why I'm trying to um, record as much as I can, you know. Oh my word, guys! Like while I'm busy doing my hair, I'm actually realizing that I desperately need a trim. Oh my goodness! Like, Look at my ends, like, ugh, like, who wants to see that, you know? So yeah, um, I definitely, oh, that is also the reason why I um, twisted my hair, because I trim my own ends, and what better way to do it than having it in twists, and then you can just see um, what parts doesn't look that great, and then you just chop it off, yeah. So I'm gonna definitely show you guys that in the next video, so definitely stay tuned for that.
so far so good. Uh, ooh. And I'm surprised with this, um, this side because the side didn't come out that bad. You know? So yeah, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So now I'm going to take this um, red tail comb um, and I have a mirror over here so apologize if I don't look at the camera but yeah. That is a little bad. Okay. See you girl. Oh anyway. my word guys. Like just look at this section. Like look how thin it is. Oh my goodness. I desperately needed to do. So I'm actually leaving this spot for last because um, I'm going to do these two together. So yeah, I'm just going to continue with sectioning this spot and then also um, styling it. Because I've already done this three and yeah, so far so good. Okay, so now it's time for the final part. Okay, so this is the last part and I'm going to show you guys again what I do. So I'm just going to spritz it with water. And I'm going to take the leave-in conditioner and just add about this. Okay, that amount. And then I'm going to take some of the curl defining lotion. Just about that amount. Yeah, because this one is thicker than the living conditioner. And then I'm gonna add some of the locking gel. As you guys can see, I'm almost running out of it because I use this a lot. Ooh. I'm just gonna add that to the spot. And that I'm gonna just check. Okay, that's fine. And now I'm gonna just unlock. I'm just gonna take my brush and just and then I'm just gonna coil my end. I don't know but it's like very hard to zoom this one in but anyway I'm, I'm just gonna take this and then just take that oh take like five four drops and I'm just gonna pat that in. You no, know, because I don't want to spoil my twist. So let me just pat for the back side. I'm just gonna take that. I'm just gonna pat that in. Especially for the ends, like I'm just sealing everything in with the oil. And I'm done. Hi! <laughs> so I'm back guys and as you guys can see my hair looks amazing like it's so bouncy and shiny and oh, I'm obsessed. Hey. <laughs> anyway, yeah so my hair definitely came out very really nice and it would have looked much better if my ends were trimmed you know because some of my ends look crusty as hell but anyway if you guys like this technique and if you want to try out this technique then definitely comment down below so that I can go check that out and yeah that was it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you've liked it and also subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms and yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye I want to eat you.